A good painter always knows how to fix things. Let me show you what I've done. What I've done is taken some special mixture of a proprietary whatever it is. It loosens up the paint. Then I used a barium magnet and I positively, positively charged the magnet, negatively charged the paint, used an ultraviolet light, and I know you're going, what's this guy talking about? Well, what I'm talking about is an amazing thing that I use, which I will not discuss anymore, but what it does is it realigns paint. It takes a rough surface and it levels it. So I've, uh, that's what I've done to this paint job here. Remember, it just has a color coat. It does not have the clear coat on top of it. All right, here is the, what do they call it? The um, headlight unit. And you can see what the, my little invention has done with no paint on it. And I've done the same thing to the back here. I have decided that from now on, since this panel is, I don't know, 21, 22 years old, I'm going to bite the bullet and pay the $190 for a new back cover when I go to repaint again. So, I've got the color coat on, which I had on. I've used my invention to fix it, and it looks like it's uh, it's not going to do too bad of a job. There is light and dark spots in the paint as far as dry and light spots. That means nothing when I go to spray the catalyzed clear right here, because what it will do is it will basically make that all disappear and you'll have a very shiny coat on the top. So the next thing I'm thinking about is, all right, what am I going to do on these decals that I have? And I have a whole bunch of them. I want to use the Isle of Man TT. Uh, they just look cool and they have the black and white on the bottom here, along with the black and white I have there. So it's kind of going to kind of look nice. I have to decide where I want to put the decals to make them really stand out, but not be too close to my legs or too too very far back. And I have to figure out where I'm going to put on the black. You can see the black panel right there that goes underneath. I'm going to put the NOS emblem and I'm thinking that I'd like to put this uh, ZX emblem on the back. I want to have one I want to have three of these all together. One in the front right here, this number one and one on each side but on the ZX what I'd like to do you got to remember, I have to, I have to picture this in my mind. I want to put the one somewhere up here, maybe. And remember another thing, too, is I'm standing um, half a meter or a foot away from this. I don't know how it's going to look, I don't know, 20 feet, 30 feet away. And if you have a really good friend that can help you look at it and help you decide what you're going to put on, well, tell them to fuck off. Because, believe me, he'll decide what he wants for his own opinion and not yours. So your best thing to do is do it yourself. After you get done with all your modifications, then show him or her or whoever. And if they like it, they like it. If they don't, well, fuck them. So I want to put the ZODX maybe right here. I'm going to have the uh, NOS right down here in the black. And then somewhere I'll have the Hemi emblem. Now these are plastic and you can see they have 
the uh, stick them on the back so they have to be somewhere flat they can't be like right back here where it's going to be twisting and another thing I like to do is see where it says DO you can barely see that I want to um, like uh, very lightly sand off that DO the chrome on the top and I want to paint it red like this red right here so it says like you know DOZX but I have to make it so I can put the ZX on here the NOS down here the Hemi somewhere and the number one decal somewhere and not make the damn thing look way too bling you want to make the ride look clean dangerous very well done a nice piece of art but you can easily go overboard you can really go too damn Filipino on this and like I've, I've talked about the Filipinos before uh, the Filipinos bar none are the best at blinging out cars motorcycles anything in the world all right I thought America Americans were the top at everything because I am an American but nobody does bling like my Filipino friends. Nobody. And we continue.